In the Apple event, WWDC 2024, they just announced how would they incorporate AI into their own devices. And the reaction of the public is actually fear disappointment. You're telling me that you gave up a $100 billion investment to making cars into generative AI, and this is what you give me, a dupe version of ChatGPT. Nothing beyond a smarter Siri who can understand context or summarize my notes. This is not even catching up to the AI product industry standards. When I have that question, bear in mind and learn a little bit more of what is Apple actually trying to do? I actually find that they are prepared a killer move. And that killer move is actually hidden in their research paper. And of course, I'm not the only one who recognize Apple's intention. Even people in the field or even other business are realize they have this ambition is they want to become the new king of AI. And that killer move is called Ferret UI large language model. If this large language model can implement it as they imagine, it will create a similar impact, just like internet to human society. From reading over the paper, the functionality of a fair UI is actually very simple. What they do is basically using AI to understand what is happening on your phone. What is thumbnail do, what is title does, and what does the buy button, and what's the relationship between each other. And in the end, they will make a reasoning, what do you try to do, and uh, what's the potential action you could do next. What actually shocked the field, or even me, is actually the implementation of this model. I use a comparison, just like uh, when the internet just published, and everybody thought it just a book that people can receive and send information. And we can see how much internet changed our world. So what does the world look like? Or what is even the final goal does this large language model try to achieve? The answer is very complicated, but I will explain in the real life detail after. They want to stop making humans serving machine. Instead, making machine serving humans. Use a daily example to demonstrate uh, what does it mean uh, we are humans serving the machine. Is imagine last time you're cooking. It feels like you are doing some scientific experiment in one of the episodes in Breaking Bad. You had to add this, you had that, there's a timing issue, then there's smoke, you're serious a steak, the alarm is going on, you have to shut this off. Oh my God, I spill everything everywhere. That's most people experience when they're cook especially the first couple of times. But did you ever thought about one issue? Is if the smoke alarm can actually detect the smoke, why can the smoke alarm tell the stove to lower the heat before it gets triggered? The answer is between your the vacuum for the smoke, your pan, your stove, and the smoke alarm. They are from different company and they do not have a communication between each other. So in order for you to have the cooking experience, you need not only become a cook, you also have to role play a communication between those devices. And the same dissonant happen in the software and to our real life. For example, when you try to buy something, you need to manually go to different websites to compare the prices. When you go travel, you need to actually search one by one, go through so many junk information just to find what could we potentially do there. Even then, Google know exactly who you are, what you like, even what type of partner you're willing to find, but they cannot help me using those data to pick a trip that best tell to me. Or to the dating example, uh, if Google has so much my data and they know who I am and what's my preference, why they can just pre-filter whatever showed up on my feed on the tender. So less swiping, more chatting, going to the point instead of doing so many useless stuff. And all of those are representing that one issue is between apps, there's almost have a zero communication. So we need to not only become the person, enjoy the services, we also need to become the coordinator between different apps. The reason why all of those devices and machines or software are 
need a human coordinator is because of three reasons. And all these three reasons can be perfectly solved by a fairy UI and potentially more AI product of Apple. In order to help us to make a more customizable uh, suggestions or more customizable outcome, they need to understand us as a human, our intention in a human level. Before, this is almost a mission of impossible for codes to understand what are you, what's your intention and what's the style of you speaking until AI rolled out. If you have a long enough conversation, just like how Google been collecting your data, if this AI agent collecting your data for a very long period of time, they start understand you more than anybody else. When you copy a part of interesting thing or when you like something on the blog post of potential where you want to travel to, it gave a bookmark to it. So in future, when you encounter similar situation, it can wire back of something you like and you almost forgot of five months ago. Second biggest problem causing this dissonance between software and integrate to our life is actually different company are coded by different coders and they have a different rule, they're doing different thing. So even everybody wanting to give up their private data, their private information, and to make this convenient product, they can't because Different product, different code can be translated together. Sometimes they even being written in a different program languages. And the fair UI also can solve that. Is I don't care about what's your code and how can your code connect to his. All I care about is how does it show to the customer. I connect you to him in a human understanding level. There's still one more issue is business competitions. Nowadays, business data is almost become one of the most important assets to all companies. For example, I'm published this video on YouTube. The reason why there's no other long form platform out there besides YouTube is not because YouTube provide a better platform. It is because the advantage of data from Google. They filter out all the terrible video for you from beginning. And that is not enough. There could be a great, great video from different subject, but you don't have all the time in the world. So based on your click and your feed from your search, they find what you could potentially interesting. Without Google in the back to support customization data, YouTube wouldn't get to where they are today. And that's exactly what Apple tried to do. But instead, their product like YouTube is video. They want to do all software. On the platform level to coordinate all the app together to provide the tailored AI agent for you. So how could Fair UI solve this issue? The answer is very easy. They don't have to violate all the apps. They don't need to know uh, what is your data. All I want to collect is what did the user do on the screen? And of course, um, other company may not agree with it or even Google probably will fight Apple very harshly for this direction. But this is more like a business deal. And because how much people is using Apple, so it's almost the best position for Apple to implement this than anybody else. And if they actually achieve one day, we have this super intelligent AI agent with us, help us to making a uh, goal of earning money, goal of learning, goal of education, and this suggests you to everything. To get rid of iPhone or get a lot of uh, Apple ecosystem, it would be almost impossible. Use a metaphor would be, if you get rid of those customizations, it would be, human have to relearn how to walk or you have to give up all the internet video back to bookstore to finding book one by one in the in the end i just want to branch out a little bit more for people who are familiar with the history of technology or interest in technology in general you probably are noticing one thing is wait a minute this sounds fairly familiar isn't this 
what Nikola Tesla mentioned in 1926 called Internet of Things? The answer is yes. This is basically they try to build a intelligent globe, intelligent system, intelligent appliance. They try to connect everything together to create the ultimate convenience for human. The reason why this idea being brought up in a hundred year and still yet achieve is not only because the business hate each other and they fight with each other. It's actually because one problem is. There is no way can a machine recognize intention of humans or the desire of humans. Where does it come from? People always have imagined when we have good enough brain science, we can decode human desire. That's the time Internet of Things will be possible. But Apple showing a different path. That is Apple intelligence AI. And that's all for today's video. I really hope you can learn something today. I see you next time.